Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at the Magic Kingdom. Splash Mountain is officially closed and the construction walls are up and they've already made some changes. So I figured I'd come out and give you guys a little update. And then also we have dining reservations at the Plaza and they have a secret menu item that I really wanna try. So we're gonna ride some rides, eat some food and just have a beautiful Magic Kingdom kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. The first thing I want to show you guys is the theme park map because you can see they actually took Splash Mountain away and it has Tiana's Bayou Adventure on there now coming 2024. I did not come for the last day of Splash Mountain, but I was able to say my goodbyes. In fact, one of the coolest and best memories I think I'll ever have is that I got to ride Splash Mountain with my mom, and it was her first and last time ever being able to ride it, and it was so cool, but we used the fact that it was closing to get her to ride it because she hates rides like that, and I'm like, this is it, last chance, and she did it. So I'm gonna remember that as like my final memory, you know? I'm excited for our day today. Like I said, we have a lot planned and it's actually very beautiful out. It's nice warm weather and a little bit of a breeze. Just the perfect weather for Magic Kingdom. One of the things I'm interested in checking out is the train because when you take the train over to Frontierland, they have a little audio track talking about Splash Mountain and then you can see inside the ride itself. So I wonder if they boarded that up or if the animatronics are just sitting in there like not moving or what if they are still moving? That would be even more interesting. In fact, I think we're gonna head on the train right now. We're not going to do the whole train ride. I just want to show you a little bit of the update that they have going on and then get off in Frontierland. Tall tails and an even taller mountain. We call it Big Thunder. Catch a ride on its runaway trains and you'll see why. On a more musical note, just ahead I heard some new critters are moving in and looking to make a splash. Take a listen. We're almost there. We're heading on into Splash Mountain. Frontierland Station, everyone. So sit tight and hold those horses until we come to a complete stop. If you're disembarking, please carry your strollers all the way off the platform before unfolding. That will help make room for any new buckaroo. Oh, it looks like they got it all blacked off this here. Frontierland. Honestly, I feel like that would have been such an awesome thing to do. Just leave the window open to see the progress of the construction. I was really hoping for that, but they did change the audio tracking. They said they have some new friends moving in. So that's also very interesting that they had that all switched out and ready to go. And then they're gonna have to change it again once uh, Tiana's Bayou Adventure opens up. You can actually see they have some lights on in there. Right there are some steps or access steps that they would use to get up on the ride. And then they even have some two by fours sitting over on the ground over there. So they're already starting on it. Like they're getting it going. Look at the two by fours right there. I wonder what that's for. That's really interesting and all the water's drained out. As you can see, they didn't waste any time at all. In fact, I hear that all of the boats are actually out of the attraction. The water is drained completely. And they did release a little bit of a backstory to Tiana's Bayou Adventure. And honestly, the ride itself is gonna be the same exact ride, like the track itself and everything like that. And I think Splash Mountain is still gonna be referenced in it because when they did release like the backstory, they said the old salt uh, mill is on Splash Mountain in waterway which you know that tells me maybe they might add it in a little bit and uh, I think maybe some of the critters might stay too because they did talk about different critters in the attraction how cool would it be if they actually had a little nod or an Easter egg I mean I think that would be actually really fun and I'm excited I mean the bioluminescent water that they said that they're gonna have so the water is gonna be like kind of glowing is gonna be a nice little touch here are the construction walls outside the Lightning Lane area, and they say Southern Dome Salt Company, and that's because when I was telling you a little bit of the backstory that Disney actually came up with, it's uh, Tiana, she actually purchased a old salt mine to serve as headquarters to her uh, Tiana's food business, and they're hosting a large party for Mardi Gras, and she and the guests journey into the bayou to find a key ingredient for the festivities. So that's what the uh, Southern Dome Salt company is and they actually still have the uh, 
height requirement little stand here. Look at that. The bluebird's still here. And when you stand here, it's like you got a bluebird on your shoulder. Very fancy. The Br'er Fox, Br'er Bear, and Br'er Rabbit statue is still here. This is where the queue would have been, and that's all empty. I think they still have the laughing place, like kids' play area, still open too. Look at this down here. This is actually still open. People are allowed to come down here. I mean, I think they needed to keep it open for the restrooms. But yeah, you can actually still come play at the uh, laughing place. I wish Disney did some farewell merchandise, but it looks like they did nothing. And the only available like thing that you can buy was one of the Splash Mountain press pennies. And from what I saw last night, there were people lined up to get these press pennies. Like there was a huge line. And I am glad to report, it's still available. You can get the Splash Mountain pennies still available after the ride closed. Look at that. They have all different designs here. They got Mickey and Goofy and Splash Mountain there. And then they've got a uh, one with Br'er Bear and Br'er Fox on this one. Might as well get them now though, you know? There it goes, it's pressing my penny. Ooh! Oh, we got three. Ooh, they're hot. They're very hot. I'm not too sure how much they charged my card, uh, but I ended up getting three of the press pennies and I got the, these two Splash Mountain ones and then I got this 50th anniversary one and I just don't want that one. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad that they gave it to me, but I, I, I only want these ones and they're nice. It's got Mickey and Br'er Rabbit and a lot of other ones on there. I also think they had a press penny machine in the gift shop and I was told they actually moved that one over to the Country Bear Jamboree. So if you're looking to get that press penny machine, it's now in the Country Bear Jamboree. Here is a look at the queue. They have it all boarded off here and you can see over there the doors are shut. Splash Mountain is closed. I mean, I thought they were going to have like tall walls actually, but they don't have tall walls. They just have like these little tiny southern dome salt company i mean i'm sure they will eventually i kind of want to track all of the construction like that comes about oh look at the squirrels are in there probably having a field day with all those <laughs> bird houses and stuff like that look at the squirrels in there very interesting and i'm still very interested that the fact that the laughing place is open I feel like they really can't get rid of the Laughing Place play area. And I also think that they're going to keep it too. They might just rename it, but I don't think they're going to get rid of that. A lot of kids can, you know, hang out there while parents relax and go to the bathroom over here. So it's actually a, a very good spot. I mean, look at that. They still have Br'er Rabbit out here. Welcome to the Laughing Place. This play area is for the enjoyment of children ages two to five. I would play in it if I was allowed. We're definitely going to go see what it looks like at the front of Splash Mountain, you know, where the drop is. But first, I bought Lightning Lane today. It was $18, and I was able to get a Big Thunder Mountain Lightning Lane. So I think we're going to ride that and then go check it out. Also, you guys impressed that I've been really pronouncing the T in Mountain? You know, I, it's hard for me to actually say it the proper way because I usually say Mountain. I don't say the T, and I'm trying. I'm saying it. Mountain. Now that Splash is closed, Big Thunder is going to be a little bit busier because it's the only attraction that's open up over on this side. And look, they actually added these uh, little ropes here and they already have an extended queue for the day. The wait time says 50 minutes, but this looks a lot longer than that. So I think we're going to head on in. Like I said, we have a lightning lane, but be prepared. I bet you the wait time for Big Thunder Mountain Railroad is going to be longer than normal until that ride opens back up. Luckily, with the lightning lane, that was only like a one minute wait. Oh, and here comes our train for today. Looks like I'm a be bold. You be bold. <laughs>
Look at that view. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. And we made it. And guess who made it back with us? Not that dino. That was such a great ride on Big Thunder. And like I said, that's gonna be a very popular attraction the next couple of months or until 2024, only because like we're on a completely opposite side of the park and there's nothing over here except for Big Thunder Mountain. So it's gonna be long wait times from here on out. Something else that I'm kind of interested in is the Brer Patch. This never reopened with the attraction after the shutdown and it's been closed off since like for many years. So I wonder if they are secretly already doing stuff inside there and it might open up before the ride does like as a little gift shop or like a little preview center. I mean, it would make sense. I mean, they could be doing stuff in there. It could be completely done and we wouldn't know. I used to like going into that gift shop because they had rocking chairs there and uh, they had multiple rocking chairs actually and it was a really nice spot to just sit down and relax a little bit. Now we're coming up on the Brer Patch here and oh the walls are a little bit higher on this side. Look at that. Completely drained down and emptied. Wow. Even the water up here is drained out. And also look, there's more of those two by fours that I was talking about before. There's actually a whole bunch of them. Eventually the walls are gonna get higher and higher. And I can tell you this section right here where they have the highest walls, they're already like tearing up the uh, siding there a little bit. You can see it all laying out a little bit. Right here is where the highest point is. And you can actually see some of it because that gets glaring through the side there but they don't want you to see what's going on down there. Oh, looks like somebody teared a little hole up there. But yeah, this is where you could see some stuff. They should have put a little bit uh, bigger like of the, the wood walls though. You know what I mean? I'm sure they will eventually. Another thing I noticed is some of the lights are on up there. So it looks like they have uh, like working lights in there as they're doing the construction. And it's really interesting seeing it like this. Like I said, eventually it's got to go up a little bit higher. I mean, I don't think Disney's going to like show off everything. And the Splash Mountain sign is covered up completely. Wow, look at that. I just realized that. This is where the one sign would be right here. Look at that. Enough of this Splash Mountain business. Now it's time to head over to the plaza because it's almost time to eat. But let me know in the comments what you're excited for when it comes to Tiana's Bayou Adventure or let me know what your favorite memory of Splash Mountain was. I told you guys what mine is with my mom and I'm excited to make more memories uh, once the ride opens back up. I definitely will keep you guys updated on the progress and any changes. I think we'll make this like a little bit of a monthly special where we come back and see what's new and if there's any changes, you know, whenever we come to Magic Kingdom. I love doing stuff like that. And wow, speaking of Tiana, take a look at this. She's actually up in that window there. That is incredible. Huh. I don't think I've ever seen anyone up there except for the Muppets. That is really interesting. Very cool. The 
Plaza restaurant is a nice little spot right next to the hub area and they're known for their, like their home style food they got meatloaf they got soup and I want to see if we can get a good old patty melt now they have a Reuben on the menu and then they also have a Main Street burger but I wonder if they can like whip together a little patty melt for me and that's the secret menu item I was talking about here it is, the Plaza Restaurant. Now don't get it mistaken for the Plaza Inn in Disneyland, which I think is actually better. This is a sit-down location, and the Plaza Inn has like quick service, but I love the fried chicken there. I mean, this is still pretty good, but nothing beats the Plaza fried chicken in Disneyland. Here is a look at the menu. They've got the Marceline Mudslide, the Plaza Reuben. These are all things for the 50th anniversary, but they also have like BLT salads, seared crab cakes, Plaza Loaded Fries, the Main Street Burger, Home Style Meatloaf, Sirloin Steak Salad, Fried Chicken Sandwich, and then the Chili Impossible Burger. They do have chili on the menu, and I think it's Impossible Chili, but I am interested on uh, what the soup of the day is. You know, I do love soup, a big soup guy right here. The restaurant itself is so pretty. I love it in here. And they used to have like the Main Street citizens, like the mayor and the fire chief used to come in here. And it was really cool, but I don't think they do that anymore. And we're actually in the Miranda, which is this little green room over here. And we got a nice little cozy spot over here. Very fancy, even some wine glasses. So I was able to actually get the Main Street Burger and kind of like a patty melt. And I'm excited, I love patty melts. They're like the best thing in the world. I love rye bread. I know that sounds funny, but if you look up what Walt used to eat, he used to eat a lot of sandwiches like this. And I learned this when I went to the Tam O'Shanter in Los Angeles. He liked to eat just like meat and bread, like little tiny sandwiches. And that's what I'm trying to do here. Make a little, uh, little patty melt, he loved that. Also, recently they started serving specialty cocktails at Magic Kingdom, and I haven't been here to get one of the new specialty cocktails. They have the Last Ward, which is Ford's Gin, a green liqueur, some of those fancy Luxor cherries, which I love those a lot. Then they have a Jack Rose cocktail and the Plaza Mimosa. Luxor, Luxardo. I was thinking of the hotel in Las Vegas. I think it was called Luxor, but the very fancy cherries. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. And here it is, the last ward. Look at the cherries in there. I'm not a big gin drinker, but I'm excited to try it. It looks very fancy. I feel like I'm at the Great Gatsby. You know what I mean? Anytime I have like a special glass like this, I feel like I'm Jack in the Titanic and I'm about to make each day count. Here, here. It's delicious. Holy moly. I definitely don't think I should be drinking it that fast though, but it is very delicious. All right, here it is. The Main Street Patty Melt. That's what we're gonna call it. I'm, I feel like they didn't uh, like toast the rye bread. I, I don't think they grilled it, I think they toasted it. But it's got the little egg on there, the bacon, the works. And uh, I think this is gonna be the last time I can get this. I'm very excited to try it. Oh, did you just see that? My yolk popped. Look at that, my yolk popped. This might end up being a mess because I got a, a leaky yolk. But here it is, look at this thing. This is a hefty, hefty meal here, holy moly. I don't even know how to approach it. I don't know, maybe I'll take it from this side. I'll go like this, there you go. Very good. It was incredibly hard to actually eat this. I feel like I should cut it in half. That's probably the best bet. I'm gonna do that now, actually. Since the yolk is running wild, I thought it was best to put my little napkin down there, and now it's a little bit better. Uh oh, I lost my napkin, but I'm going in for it. I'll have to lean in. This is definitely a good burger, but I don't think eating it on the rye was the best way to go. I should have just stuck with the Kaiser roll, but I seen somebody post a picture of it like this, and like a custom little patty melt, and also, I don't know if the secret sauce is the same as Thousand Island, it tastes like it, 
but I think we're missing some grilled onions for it to be like a good patty melt. I don't know, I put onions on my patty melt. If you time this right, you can actually just sit in here, drink a nice little cocktail, and watch the fireworks too. Because you got a great view of the castle, especially in this little Miranda that they got going on here. I feel fancy. I feel fancy, and I feel elegant. As you're sitting here, you can literally just look up and see the castle on the outside. Look at that. And you can see the fireworks right there if you wanted to. I think you just have to time it perfectly. 8.15ish. Plaza Inn is always some good food. I love it there. I just wouldn't recommend doing the rye bread or the, the patty milk trick. It didn't hold up well. You know, the patty, I feel like if they grilled it instead of toasted, it probably would have held up a little bit better. But uh, the yolk got the bread very soggy. It was difficult to eat. I mean, it was still very good though. I loved it. And I'm excited to see if they do change up the menu a little bit. I did see the soup of the day was tomato, which I feel like that was like the same thing I got like this soup of the day last time so I, I wonder if it's actually a soup of the day or is it just a soup that they call soup of the day I don't know I watch a lot of kitchen nightmares and Gordon Ramsay and one of the episodes I absolutely loved is when he was explaining soup of the day is a different soup every single day but a lot of people just say soup of the day and it's just one constant soup and I'm feeling that it's a tomato bisque I feel like it is and uh, now we're gonna move along go ride some more rides I think I'm gonna make my way into Tomorrowland and look at how beautiful the sky looks right now. It's so nice out right now. I think we'll go ride the Barnstormer. That's probably a real easy one to get a lightning lane for and I kind of like seeing the sunset from outdoors. I mean, if I could do the Astro Orbiter, that would be awesome, but I bought this lightning lane for $18. Might as well use it and I don't think Astro Orbiter is actually a ride that's included on the lightning lane. <laughs> Also, I want to say I'm sorry to all the Dallas Cowboys fans out there and also the Buffalo Bills. I'm sorry they didn't make it through. I am a Niners fan. I grew up in Pennsylvania, so it's going to be very difficult tomorrow being a Niners fan and being from Pennsylvania. I will be happy though at least if the Eagles win, but I'd be more excited if the Niners win. And a lot of people ask me why I'm a Niners fan and I grew up in Pennsylvania. And that's because I met Joe Montana. He actually lived in my neighborhood in Pennsylvania, kind of. And I got to meet him and I got autographs and I was just a big 49ers Dynasty fan and I've always been that way. So I stick to the team, you know? We're making our way back to Storybook Circus and also the new uh, character meet and greets. Well, the old character meet and greets are back. I think Daisy and Goofy are back here actually. And that's something maybe, maybe we'll do that later. Right now I want to go ride Barnstormer because we got a lightning lane for like right now. Tron Light Cycle is actually all lit up and I see it running. And in fact, I think cast member previews start next week. That's going to be coming so soon. Goofy is the great Goofini. Look at that, to the moon. I love, I love all of the stuff in here because I love Goofy so much. And look right back there, you can see Tron Light Cycle. Oh, you can actually see people walking up there. Look, there it goes, Tron's going through and the train's going through the tunnel. Look at that. Right there is the Tron restrooms. And that's gonna be convenient that they have restrooms over here now. And I'm just like so excited to ride this. Look at this, here it comes through again. Look at that. The sky looks beautiful right now, so we're about to take a coaster off into the sunset. I like that. Ride off in the sunset. I always like to ride the front row for this ride. I don't know why. Because it's like such tiny seating, and it ends in like a second. I also feel like my shirt is like a perfect shirt to wear to, when I ride Tron. It's a Trapper Keeper shirt. Like, you know, a Trapper Keeper from when you were a kid, it's a Roosevelt shirt. But look at the way it looks. Doesn't it look like it's like a Tron light cycle shirt? Very cool. I love these. I love these shirts. So the Trapper Keeper ones, it's so nostalgic. All right, here comes our plane coming in the station. I also like the front row has propellers. Here we go. Look at that sky. Oh! Oh no! Astro Blast! 
Fly again soon. That was great. Super short though. But did you see the castle and the sunset? It was amazing. Now I'm gonna try to catch this train. I don't know if we're gonna make it or not, but I'd love to take it back up to the main street. I don't know, we're gonna run. Gotta get out of here, gotta get going. Looks like I missed the train. There it goes without me. There it goes. I tried rushing to grab the train, but it wasn't happening, so we're just gonna walk out the other way. Got there this close. Look at the castle right now. It's at the very end of a sunset, and it's beautiful. I get so excited at this time of the day. Everything is just 10 times better and more beautiful. I am very excited for the 50th anniversary to end. I know that they're going to change the castle back to the way it was before without the 50th uh, logo, but I also heard rumors that they're going to keep the painting scheme, like the colors. I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, if it is true, I mean, I miss my old Cinderella castle. I'm excited for the 100th. But, I mean, that's going to be a lot of fun, but it's time for the 50th to go. Time for it to go. I mean, I do like that they added like certain aspects to it, but I just remember that original Cinderella castle, and I think it's gonna look better once that 50th logo is gone. I don't know, you know what I mean? It just kind of looks weird, you know? On the way out, I wanted to stop to see if they released anything new for the vault collection, and look at this. Look at this Walt Disney World 25th anniversary sweater. I think this is for female. It's like that low cut, but that is so cool looking. And of course, I already got the Cake Castle hoodie. I had to get this. I got this in Animal Kingdom the other day, but I also spotted this shirt right here. This is kind of cool because it looks like a retro shirt, but it's not. I'm loving all this stuff. They're putting out the good stuff at the end of it. I think it's time to head on out though and go check up on Gracie. We've been here all day kind of just relaxing, checking things out. Rode a couple of rides, had some food. Now it's time to head on home. Of course I gotta show you guys Gracie girl. There she is! What's up baby? What's up baby? What are you doing? You wanna go for a walk? No privacy at all in this place. <laughs> I also wanted to show you guys Gracie's row of beds. She has four beds in the bedroom. She got all these beds here. Of course, the Haunted Mansion Doom Buggy bed, which she'll only sit in when I'm not looking. She does like this one right now. It's her favorite one. She just got that one. She's warming up to it. And this one's always a go-to for her. Usually I like to have this on the balcony, but she has a new bed out there now. In total, Gracie has seven beds. She literally has seven beds. And it's so funny. She has one in the living room, one downstairs, and then one on the balcony too. And, uh... <laughs> it's just so funny, but look, she does like this one a lot. You look so cozy and comfy. Look at you with your little pity paws out. Yes. Oh, love you. What? Who's my little princess? What you doing? You chilling? You chilling? Yes. I love you. And with that, I think we are done here today. It was a fun day. I had a lot of fun hanging out at Magic Kingdom. And uh, like I said, I think we'll keep on doing construction updates on Tiana's Bayou Adventure. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.